Right, this is my uh, second video of the snow. I just wait for this young man to disappear. Now, as you can see, all of the houses, I apologise for the traffic, have got snow on the roof. But that is a good thing. However, the footpaths have not been gritted. They never are. And they are extremely slippy. So please, please be careful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cross over the road gently without getting run over. that these cars are going way too fast especially in this time in the morning and considering how dark it is and the fact that it has been snowing overnight but you know this is Heath End Road for you in Nuneaton and it looks like the young lad who I've tried not to video is actually going to be catching the bus which is fantastic which means the public transport is running on time so I'll let him catch the number nine. So for anyone who starts moaning, there's the number nine bus. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to cross over and it's just, this is how insane this road is. It's like this every single day. And as you can see, it's already started to get gridlocked and it's only um, seven o'clock in the morning. Oh. God, it's so cold out here at the moment. All I want to do is cross over the road for like two minutes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. I really, really wish that the local council would put in a zebra crossing in between where the uh, bus stops are. Especially because there is literally on this part of the road where I live, there is no zebra crossing at all. There are no traffic lights and I definitely think it would help not to have traffic lights. There's way too many traffic lights in this road, but definitely a zebra crossing. Right, no, it's still not safe to cross. <sighs> Sometime today would be nice. <laughs> Right, yes, it's safe to cross. Oh, I'll just have to spend another 20 minutes of my life trying to get back over the other side. Now, the reason why I wanted to cross the road was so that you could compare the differentiation of the roofs from the one side of the road to the other. Now, yes, this is the roof of the house that I rent. The house next to me is a rental and the house next to me, the other side is a rental as well. And you can see straight away, there is no way as much snow on the roof as there is on the opposite side. And one of the reasons for this probably is because the house isn't as well insulated. So I always say to people, if you're ever going to look at a property to rent or purchase, do it on the worst possible weather day. Good morning. And you will see what condition the house is likely to be in when it is raining or when it is snowing. So as you can see, there is snow on my roof, but it is not as thick as the other side of the street. So we'll just go back over and we'll compare the difference. No, still not safe to cross. <laughs> so as you can see on those roofs, the snow is a little bit more consistent 
there doesn't seem to be as many breakages where the tiles are, whereas in mine, sadly, there is. Now, my landlord did do some so-called repairs to the property recently. So I'm just coming down here, really, to see how bad and how dangerous the um, footpath still is and to see whether or not anything is still leaking. And it is. <clears throat> the best thing for me to do is to come out when it's raining. I mean, it has been raining, but I'm 99.9% sure that my, um, pipe work is still leaking and that, he, yeah, he hasn't sealed it correctly. So he needs to make sure he does that when he comes out again. <sighs> again, you can clearly see where there's gonna be slip and trip hazards on this floor. If it does freeze, this footpath is gonna be deadly to use. <sighs> Let's just go around the back. And I'm going to carefully walk down the bottom of my garden. You know the one thing I do love about the fact that it is snowed? That my landlord can't have got me for not doing the garden. <laughs> because you're not supposed to do the gardens when it snows. Um, it damages the surface structure of the ground, I say, as I'm walking down to the bottom. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, at the back of the house, the... the it seems to be a lot more insulated at the back of my property than at the front. So that is a plus. So like I said, you know, if you are renting a property or you have a house or anything, now is probably the best time to take a look externally after it's snowed to see how quickly the snow um, dis dis dissipates, basically comes off the roof. I mean, I've got the heating on. You can see I've got the heating on. Um... But if the snow obviously isn't melting really fast, then it means that obviously the house, I believe I've got this correct, is quite well insulated. If I'd have come out this morning and there was no snow on my roof at all, or very little, it would show that basically the majority of the heat that is in the property is actually um, disappearing through the external part of the property, which, it seems to be doing a lot more at the front than at the back. So I will mention this to my landlord again when I next see him. So this is our first official snow day. Enjoy, be safe and be well.